All right. Hello, my friends. We are live. My name is Evelyn Joy, and welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited because I'm a huge fan of Teacher Lena, and Teacher Lena is here. Hello, Teacher hey. Lena. Hi, Evelyn. And I'm a huge fan of yours, too. So I'm yeah. excited to be here with you. <laughs> fans, joy. fans become friends. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever I watch your, your show, I feel like I just feel joy. So. Oh, good. <laughs> That's the goal. That's my goal. What I want to do is along with you, I thought we could we could p team up together and shine some light in this teaching community that needs some direction and some hope in a time that um, you and I on our channels, we've been sharing the reality of what's going on, but trying to keep a positive spin on it. Um, so I would like to, if it's okay with you, talk about current events of what's going on in our teaching community and also options that teachers have. Is that okay? Perfectly fine with me. Sounds All right. good. So before we begin, Teacher Lena, will you tell us what companies you have worked with? Um, I have worked with um, Cambly, GoGo Kid, um, Magic Ears, iTutor Group, uh, Bling, ABC, and VIP Kid, and OutSchool. So, I mean, that's kind of in a different realm, but yeah. So those are the awesome. companies that, that I have worked with, but probably your next question is, who am I working with now? Yeah, currently, who gets your bookings? <laughs> who gets your yeah. time? Yeah, who gets my time? Like this morning, I was working with Bling ABC. So I, I, I work mainly with Bling ABC and in the morning. And then in the afternoon, I work with OutSchool. I do a lot more with OutSchool these days. But um, yeah, you know... Magic Ears is always a back, a good, it, you know, they were a, a backup team. plan. Yeah. Do, yeah. Have you been a VIP kid teacher as well? Yes. Um, but I, I, because I wasn't getting consistent bookings with them, I just stopped really opening up slots yeah. with them. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good. Yeah. Awesome. So the, this is, <laughs> it's, it's like, all of the news is unfolding as we as we as we speak, right? Because last night I asked you, would you be willing to collab with me? And that was before GoGo -Go Kids sent out an email. Yeah. And that I wanted to talk about, you know, what's going on with Magic Ears, but now GoGo -Go Kid is like a bigger story, right? Because yeah. when I heard what Magic Ears said, it became clear to all of us that the ESL community would most definitely be affected. And then GoGo -Go Kid was just like, okay, we're closing our classes. Mm -hmm. And I know. And it was I just was, like so abrupt. It was just like, I mean, I, Magic Ears was like, their letter was like, I mean, had a lot of detail, you know, but then GoGo -Go Kid was just like, we're closing on classes, no explanation. I mean, very little. And that was it. It was like. Also Palfish. Uh, I, I feel like GoGo -Go Kid was pretty unprofessional. I feel like Magic Ears very much treated the people like family. Like they said, they even said family in their email. They wanted to be yeah. transparent, tell it like it is, give the full story. And they seem to be the first company to do that. Palfish seemed to um, just cut pay in half and fire employees and they kind of burned a bridge it seemed like the way they handled it yeah. and then VIP kid we're still kind of waiting to hear details of of what's going on with VIP kid so mm -hmm. it's it's an interesting situation as we wait um for those of you who don't know some some bans have been passed in China having to do with tutoring and a lot of us online teachers have been affected and we're waiting to see how we'll be affected. Well, one thing I want to talk about is options we have outside of China. Teacher Lena has a YouTube channel. Um, mm -hmm. Your channel is called Teacher Lena, correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I will be linking her channel in the description box below. And actually, I already have. <laughs> and mm -hmm. also, there's some other links to uh, companies that uh, you have some referral links for that are in the description box. And I want to talk about ESL companies and online companies that exist outside of China. So mm -hmm. you mentioned Cambly and OutSchool. Would you like to talk about either of those? 
from your experience? Um, yeah, I, sure. Um, Cambly, I think, is a great option right now for teachers. I mean, I love Cambly, even though I don't teach as much with them. I mean, I did once upon a time teach a lot with them. They were super flexible. Um, if you know, if you know about Cambly, they 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 teach twenty like you can teach twenty four hours a day. Like you could open up your schedule twenty four hours a day with them, and the bookings are pretty good. You know, so um, uh, the the pay is not as great as other ESL companies, but I always say that I feel like because of their flexibility, it just kind of makes up for the lack in pay. Like you know, <laughs> if I could just pick up times whenever I want, I mean, yeah. hey, that's so great. And Cambly Kids is. Um, you know, a little bit more. It's twelve dollars an hour. Um, it's it's not as flexible in that you have to open up your schedule in order to have kids book with you. So I can't just say, oh, I want to teach right now, and then you know, open up and be available. No, it doesn't quite work like that. You just have to open up your schedule. And um, and and right now they're having some really good bonuses for uh, p for their teachers uh, if you teach. A crazy number of classes, but some people can do it. <laughs> yeah, but if you teach like seventy classes, you get like double the amount. You know, so within I, how much time? A week or a month? Um, yes, it within a week. Oh, okay. So yeah, I, I feel like it was was similar to what other companies have done. Like if you teach sixty, I think it was sixty classes in a week with Magic Ears, and you get like a double. You, know, you get a bonus. I never reached it, so I didn't really pay attention to it but you know some people can do 70 classes with Cam with Cambly you know but 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 you, you must first get hired and I know that there are some teachers who have already contacted me about not hearing back they do take a while to sometimes respond but not always yeah. on the flip side of that I've heard you know a couple people recently say like oh I got hired today you know so it's like yes. you, you don't really know but it's a good option to explore so Yes. No, that's Cambly and you teach to all over the world. Yes. So real quick for to clarify when we're talking about Cambly, we might be bouncing around talking about a lot of different companies. Mm -hmm. Um Cambly, just to clarify clarify, Cambly is based out of San Francisco, correct? Yeah, San Francisco, California. So. Yeah. And they teach uh well they have conversations with their their conversational uh, yeah. English practice. They Cambly itself is with adults conversations, and um, Cambly the kids. Cambly Kids is with kids, and they're in over ninety countries. So they are open twenty four hours a day. Right. So. Um, for tons and tons of details about Cambly Kids, I have an interview that I just did yesterday with um, a Cambly teacher. And mm -hmm. so we're going to be talking about a lot of companies. So we're not going to have like a lot of details about each one because we're not specifically making a whole video about one. But we're talking about options that are out there. Now, Teacher Lena, I'm curious, what have you taught on OutSchool? Oh, I do mostly um, pre-K classes. So I have like a circle time class, which I love and they're so fun. And um, then I also do a private one-on-one -on -one, one tutoring class for, you know, pretty much three, from three to like 11 year olds. And then I do video editing, which is really popular. I do one-on-one -on -one video editing because I've, I, I do the group classes sometimes, but it's, it's more, it's more difficult. So I like the one-on-one -on -one class. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Okay, that's great. Yes, I teach Spanish. I'm fluent in Spanish. My husband's from Ecuador. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I teach Spanish on OutSchool and I'm loving it. Oh, good. Um, bookings a little bit went down in the summer, but a lot of my students uh, are like homeschool students and they do it for their, they do their Spanish for school. So they told me in May, we're taking the summer off and we'll be back in August. So a lot of my students are going to be coming back to me hopefully <laughs> but mm -hmm. I've, been, I've been teaching some I've been teaching about half VIP kid ha half out school um so another option is varsity tutors Can I, I just say yes. with out school too like yes. I I do know of, of teachers who do ESL um classes like I I, I started out uh with an ESL class I got a couple of students but I know other teachers have got uh, more students for ESL so that's an option you know Yes, I or think perhaps, perhaps if, for example, you were a go-go kid teacher and you're looking for early morning hours, 
I think maybe if you post an ESL class early in the morning, you may be getting other time zones that are, are in other countries, such as Europe or Asia, that might be interested in, in ESL. So um, just different times of the day. For example, in America, uh, the bookings are really good right now from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. Out School said that's when bookings are booming for them. So uh, maybe that's because some kids aren't homeschooled and would like to take a Spanish class after school, right? Or maybe that works for their for schedules of, of people. Um, okay, so I also did an interview with Teacher Kim about Varsity Tutors, so feel free to check out that. Varsity Tutors is based out of America. It used to be in person. Now they do online classes as well. It's usually one-on-one, -on -one, but they also have classes. Uh, again, it's a little bit lower pay than we're used to, but it's a job, right? That pays the bills. Mm -hmm. um, I interviewed a teacher, Riza, from Hallow. Hallow has students mostly in the Middle East, but all around, and it's based out of Utah. Um, Kid Pass is one that I'm going to be interviewing a teacher about, and you mentioned Luma Learn on your video. Do you know anything about Luma Learn? Um, I, I remember uh, Learned Live. Oh, Learned okay. Live. Yeah, Learned What's Live. That one? that one was to adults. So it was teaching to adults. Um, but yeah, it was just kind of like I, I, I heard about it. I saw it on a Facebook page and I was like, oh, this is interesting. People want to, you know, teach to adults. This is a possibility. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. One I'm curious about is I tutor group. I believe I tutor group is not based in China, right? Um, I I'm not a hundred percent sure. I, I know that they I have say. students all around Asia. They have students in China, but they also have students in like Korea and and other countries. So I'm curious if I tutor group will just lose a lot of students but keep trucking it. I don't know. Yeah. Um, that's a good point. That's a good point. Nova mm -hmm. Kid just opened hiring. Um, they're ones that kind of like Cambly that they open hiring and close hiring depending on their need, which is awesome for bookings. Mm -hmm. um, and they just posted that they opened for hiring. So Nova Kid is one that originally, I mean, the the original platform of Nova Kid, the teachers are from the Philippines teaching in Nova Scotia and in, in Europe, but they've recently um, opened kind of a, a new portion of their company, like a new, a new idea of having American teachers. Um, and so mm -hmm. they're, they're hiring. It's kind of a new, new thing, but yeah. yeah. And I've been seeing some people saying like, oh, I've got an interview. Oh, you know, like things are happening over there well, for teachers. So that's good. I'm, tr I'm trying to find teachers that are like actively actively um, working and booking and stuff. And there's one named Jamie and she's really involved with getting people hired and recruiting and stuff. Okay. I asked if I could interview her and she's swamped. So right now they are busy, busy, busy with hiring. So that's mm -hmm. a good sign mm -hmm. um, that they are opening wide their door, right? So mm -hmm. people Very can come, good. the floodgates can come in, right? Exactly. Um, I'm interested about Latin hire. You mentioned it in your video. Have you heard anything about where they're based out of or where their students are? Um, in South America. So they have their base out of South America. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> you have my, heart, my heart is in South America. I spent mm -hmm. two, months, two months in Uruguay. My husband's from Ecuador. I might wish I lived in South America, but well, yeah. You might explore classes <laughs> down there. Who knows, you know? That's you might, interesting. You might try it out, yeah. So yeah, is so. that ESL like teaching English to kids in South America? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, but but not just kids. I believe they do kids and adults too. So you oh, can, kids you have, and you adults have that, that option. And I mean, if it, it's it's a plus if you speak a little Spanish, but it's not it's not um, a requirement. Yeah, so, yeah. Latin hire is is they're hiring right now. So. Anytime that I can put on my resume that I'm bilingual and it's a plus, it's like okay, that helps me get yeah, another foot good. in the door. <laughs> mm -hmm. And and and. And along the same lines, there's, I just found out about Craving English. That's oh. another um, company that teaches to Latin America. Um, they're about 12 to $17 an hour. Um, so, yeah, mm -hmm. that's, a, that's another one I just, just found out about. That's great to know. See, what I'm trying to do on my channel right now, I'm, I'm trying to 
provide the facts and and what we know not hearsay not like oh he said she said maybe this maybe that but like what we know what's going on right now but mm -hmm. also hope job opportunities direction so that people aren't just depressed over this and not paying their bills you know I what know. i mean there's so many options out there that are outside of china like i get i get overwhelmed by all the things that are popping up like i know that every lead is not going to be like the best lead you know for you know some of these companies they might just be starting out and they i don't know how solid they are but there's a lot of stuff out there for people to explore and then i mean now that we have these skills teaching online there's so many things outside of teaching english that's even available so i mean we will touch on a few but i mean even outside of what we will touch on there's so much so much more and i you know i'm collecting uh, uh, one more thing i'm collecting a um a big like um spreadsheet of companies oh. that are esl and you know other things that you could teach online, online teaching. And I've, yeah. I've pulled it from different people and you know different websites or, or you know facebook groups and stuff so you know i didn't give you that link but i can give that link to you. it's it's kind of like it's notes it's not like anything that's really well put to i mean it's it's, it's, it's like it's, this <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right but it is not you know it's on google drive i do have like a chart yeah. but i'm just saying it's not like some like colorful polished thing but yeah. it is just something a quick reference that's a good work it's a quick reference for people who are just looking for stuff yeah and and from there you could build it into something bigger like a a link online that people could click on or whatever but right. yeah that is so awesome um thank you so much for having this conversation with me because i i just feel like um people need to have hope and people need to realize like what direction they can go because the thing is for example go go kid teachers just got blindsided and they have bills to pay they are going to get paid for the classes they taught but they had bookings they were planning on teaching that they just aren't going to be teaching um yeah. and and i don't believe vip kid will be doing that uh because eric chong said that uh the bookings that we have right now we will be teaching okay. uh but who Good. knows if the parents could cancel them right but the the vip kid's not going to be like tonight we are telling you that tomorrow is your last day they that's what Eric Chong says. Now he's not a CEO. He's just a social media guy. So um, there's like that. How too. much does he know? You know, he like, basically he made a post saying he doesn't know anything, okay. but he wants to know, <laughs> which yeah. makes everyone go, oh, good. We can trust VIP kid. Did you see what Eric Chong wrote? And I'm like, he said he doesn't know anything. <laughs> But yeah, yeah. So, but he's he's well, in the hope. same he's in the same sinking boat as us. So um, yeah, we just need to find those life rafts before it fully sinks, right? And it sounds like they were branching out too. I think you said that earlier too that they're branching out outside of just China. So that might help them to stay more afloat. Because yes, they are I, expanding. I was watching a video from a YouTuber yesterday that made a very valid point. They have a base in Beijing, yes. They have a second base in San Francisco. That might be their saving grace as far as not fully ending the company, right? They might mm -hmm. have to close the bigger Beijing headquarters to work from the San Francisco headquarters. There's also been things in the works as far as working in South Korea, which is kind of a smaller thing. They've they've there's been talk of maybe teaching adults. So, we'll see what VIP Kid has in the works, but the whole 100,000 teachers, will we all be needed? I don't know. Will yeah. there be bookings for everyone to pay their bills? I think we need to have a backup plan. You right. know what I we mean? We might just start seeing like lower, less and less booking because they're not going to just fire people or just because, I mean, you you open up your schedule. It's like you're in charge of your schedule and they don't just give out classes. It's the parents are booking the classes. So I don't think it's, they're going to fire anybody. It's possible that they might not renew contracts. Yeah. Because yeah. I have to renew in December. So <laughs> I don't know we don't want to like we don't know we don't know but um i want to point here's something positive <laughs> i want to point this this note out notably nancy says there's also my cool class which is a teacher's cooperative i think it it, it has great potential mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. I'm liking the concept. I just made a video about it. Oh, great. Check out Notably Nancy's channel. Um, I wanted to talk about my cool class. I was going to say, um, when one door closes, you know, sometimes, what is what is the quote? I'm probably going to mess it up. Uh, necessity is is the mother of, of, what is it? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I thought you were, I, I thought you were going to go with the when one door closes another one opens but yes. you got a whole another one that I'm not familiar with <laughs> when one door closes another one opens but also when <laughs> when you have a need you get creative so uh necessity is the mother of creativity that's the quote there we go. There thank we you go. dr phil <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's not the first author of that but he said it one time <laughs> anyway um when there's a need teachers that lose their job opportunities get creative and create things like my cool class like your teachable moment um which are created by online teachers so i believe that cool we kind of saw something like this coming like they yeah. wanted to have more control over their cool and teacher. interesting things are coming but that being said Brand new companies that are just kind of testing the waters, don't don't depend on them for your bills. You can do it as a side hustle, but have have something like something like OutSchool, something like Varsity Tutors or Canva mm -hmm. Kids or Hallo, something that's more established that you can you know you're gonna have bookings for while mm -hmm. you are experimenting or dabbling in something new or yeah. trying to create something save your extra pennies when pay your bills and and you know coupon or whatever you have to do but have some extra savings in case you have a month without a paycheck you know what mm -hmm. i mean mm -hmm. um because this last year in 2020 we had six months without a paycheck but we had our house paid from my husband um but we had our house paid off so we didn't have a mortgage to pay so it, it's important to plan ahead for disaster because we don't know when something could happen, right? Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah this that's, that's very good point. You know, people always say, you know, put you know, more than one egg in your basket or diversify, definitely. Yes. Oh, look at that. Necessity <laughs> is the mother of invention. Thank you. Somebody went, Somebody knew it. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I, I learned to garden this last year. Why? Because the grocery store shelves were empty and I have four children. So I said, I need to learn to grow food. Um, and it was a good activity, a good outlet. Um, mm -hmm. And so I learned to grow fruits and vegetables. And at the same time, I'm showing it on my YouTube channel because other people might need to learn those things, right? Uh, the American mm -hmm. dollar, you can save millions of dollars in your bank account. The American dollar could lose all of its value. So yeah. just plan for plan for rolling with the punches as far as what could happen. You know, don't, mm -hmm. don't put all of your treasure in, in dollar bills, right? Because. Yeah. And, and then there's, you know, with, with that being said, there's creating or do marketing yourself, mm -hmm. doing your own thing independently. I mean, I know we're trying to highlight some companies that people feel very comfortable in going to because they're kind of like a security blanket. It's like, you know, we want somebody to pay us, you know, but, yes. but at the same time, hopefully we're thinking about how we're doing this for ourselves and how, cause I mean, we are what the companies are using. We are, you know, what's a need. So why not just do it for ourselves? I know it's hard to find those students. Yes. That is the tricky part, but there are many people who have done it. It just takes time. So as we're doing other things, we need to be trying to find our own students too. Um, I have, looked into this um and actually i'm you know highlighting some people um i, I never i haven't met this person but i i just ran across this uh youtube channel that could be very helpful for people who are trying to build up their own um students this person was teacher little mary teacher little mary is her youtube channel and she talks about how she built up her own students how she develops her own curriculum and she gives you fun activities she's got a whole little web or a, you know youtube channel so it's something to really look into um you know i just did a video on building you know starting your own uh, um business using fiverr and um and using materials like ungoo and off to class you know those are places to start 
Um, and then there are places where you can advertise yourself too. Um, like, uh, you know, we, I mean, we, we've probably heard of Preply and that's one place that they'll, they'll kind of like do a co-op kind of like out school, you know, but, but there are more places uh, other than just Preply or Amazing Talker is kind of like that too. You create, you create your own lessons. They bring the students to you. Um, but there's also, um, I just ran across this. Out one. school? Varsity well, tutors? Out, out yeah. school, but, but then there's um, Hey, it's Hey Japan. Oh, wait, where did I write it down at? Let me get this right. Um, hey, okay, now I can't. Oh, Oh My Japan. There it is. Oh My Japan. <laughs> It's like you are advertising yourself as a teacher and then students are there too looking for teachers. So you can go on there and you can connect with teachers or students who are there. And, and, and I have found this information, one more resource. I don't want to keep on taking up all your time, but no, you there's um, eslwild.org. That is a new website that I just found out okay. about that you can find. And when I was looking on there, there was companies obviously esl companies but it was it wasn't just your normal like gogo -Go kid vip kid um you know stuff that we have heard a lot that? of esl eslwild.org okay and what yeah. do you do on that website it's a what it's like a blog and they just okay. have like you know listings of you know esl companies that you can look into and they have the, the links to the company so it's very convenient they tell you some details about it but they had some really interesting, you know, leads that I hadn't heard about. One was the Oh My Japan, you know, and um, then they had one for um, where you could be a teacher to you know, university students and language schools. This was Voxy, you know, mm -hmm. I'm just highlighting a couple because there yeah. was a lot on there. But this was Voxy that they they talked about, you know, and how do you spell that? V-O-X-Y. Voxy, and is that like a website or just like a company? That's a company. It's a company, okay. and they'll pay fifteen dollars an hour. Okay. And then Verbal Planet, Verbal Planet. This one um, allows teachers to make their own prices and schedule, kind of like an out school again. So you're, you know, or like Halo. Halo is kind of like that, but they'll give you materials too. Um, yeah. So you set your own price. So that's Wonderful. Verbal Planet. So those are just a couple that I found on this one website that people can look into. And now they're going to, you know, I'm sure they're probably getting flooded. But who knows how many students they have for, you know, for you to take advantage of for all of us teachers. Yes. Um, I, I want to read this comment real quick. Uh, notably, Nancy says, I also think that online teachers are really creative. So we don't need to limit ourselves to just online teaching opportunities. That's true. I'm going to be interviewing um, Mary, who is a VIP kid teacher, uh, but she's also a pampered chef consultant. And last year, her husband lost his job and she made a lot of money with pampered chef just very easily. And so she's going to talk about that on my channel tomorrow. So that's another option. Another person said buy Bitcoin when I was talking about dollars. And believe it or not, <laughs> later today, I'm going to be interviewing my brother who has been learning a lot about cryptocurrency. And, you know, we'll talk about that. Now, Bitcoin, don't put all your money in it because it can go up and down, right? Mm -hmm. So you could make like millions or you could like lose thousands. You never know. Um, Hillary says that's positive thinking about VIP kid and the American outlet. Good thinking. Yeah, I heard that yesterday and I was like, hmm. This is a smart teacher. So, but we don't know yet. But I like to think that VIP Kid will handle it a little bit better than GoGo -Go Kid chose to. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and 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 one one more lead that I, I do want to leave people yes. with is um, it's called ASAPS. I just heard about this one. How's Somebody that spelled? How's spelled that spelled? A E S O P S. A E like ASAPS Fables. Okay. ASAPS. And um, so you're reading stories on an iPad okay. to kids. I don't know exactly how it works. I don't know if they're live or not, or if you're being recorded, but it's $17 an hour. Awesome. So I that's think one. I just saw a video from a teacher, like, like it, it popped up in my suggested and I think it had that name, but I think it had a D in it. I don't know. I was like, how do you pronounce this word? And she said it like really fast. So I was like, uh, what? But okay. yeah, <laughs> I think it was that one. Um, but yeah, very cool. So 
yeah, there's <sighs> options. We've got options. We've got things that we can work on and places that we can look for jobs. Yes. And so first, be positive uh, and keep your head up. There are options. There's hope. But mm -hmm. also don't be one of these people that just has their hand, head in the sand and says, nothing bad's ever going to happen. Nothing bad's ever going to happen. Because that's when you get caught by surprise and you might have mm -hmm. a gap in paying your bills. And we don't want your light to get turned off, you know, or your water. So it, I think life has taught me at least that we need to roll with the punches, but also be prepared for the next punch. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So have your mm -hmm. lifeboat ready in case the boat you're in is sinking, you know, not yeah. just, not just say this boat will never sink, but have a plan in place or a, a make a lot of these companies have zero minimum hours, right? Zero minimum hour requirement, right? Mm -hmm. So you could get your foot in the door now and open bookings when you need it, or you could just do it a little, you know, it, it's not a bad idea to start applying today and see what happens. Mm -hmm. You never know. You might enjoy this new company more than you did the last one. You know, it mm -hmm. could happen. I really am making yeah. more money without school than I did with VIP kid when it goes to per hour, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm so thankful for out school, I do, I, I do much better without school, but, you know, and I haven't worked with Magic Ears in a long time. I just kind of refer people because they are a great company to work for. You know, if I didn't have out school, I'd want to work more with them, but it was just, it's just hard. It's just like, when you think about the, the number of people who are being affected by all of this, yes. it just kind of blows my mind away. It's like all of a sudden, just like that, just... And it's more than just the teachers. It's more mm -hmm. than just one company. It's more than just the ESL community. It's actually the whole tutoring, uh, all, all of the tutoring agencies in, in China. And so this is a huge hit mm -hmm. to even some of the parents of our teachers, uh, even some of the parents of our students have lost their jobs. And so it's a big economic blow. And so we need to be praying for and thinking about the people in China that are scrambling to find income as well. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, there's a lot, a lot of people to yes. think about, but yes, but there is hope. There's there hope. are opportunities. <laughs> we are not left without a plan that we can seek after. So thank you so much, teacher Lena. Is there anything else you would like to say? One moment. I want to pull up your YouTube channel and share it, but yeah. Go ahead. Oh, I, yeah. Just I'm so thankful that we were able to have this conversation today to kind of, you know, talk about it. Because yesterday, like many others, I was just like in, you know, a very low place just thinking about and reading Magic Ears letter. I was just like, oh, my goodness, I couldn't, couldn't believe it. But so I, you know, but today I'm like the sun is out by me. We've got so many other opportunities. I'm really you know, happy to share this with other people who are thinking about what they need to do next. And um, yeah, thanks for allowing me to be here with you to talk about it. Because Yes, I think that's a very valid point that I hadn't thought about is that it is okay to grieve. It is okay to feel sad mm -hmm. when something happens and, and maybe we, we have loved these students. Okay, I'm not going to cry. We have loved these students and some of them are regulars. It's okay to have sad feelings. It's okay to, it's a good thing we're at the end of our video, not the beginning. <laughs> it's, uh -oh. it's okay. It's okay to grieve. Um, the, the Bible says there's a time to weep. There's a time to mourn. There's a time to be happy, you know, and weeping may endure for the night. But joy comes in the morning. So it's okay to feel sad. Mm -hmm. It's normal to have sad feelings. And it's normal to cry. And that's okay. But don't fall into a deep depression thinking that this is the end. Because there there is more to come. Yeah. Maybe better things are on the horizon. We don't know the future. Right? Yeah. yeah we should not think that this is, this is the end. And I kept seeing that yesterday too from people you know this is and it's, it's not the end it's not yes it's yes. it is a change it is a change that we have to go through but you know change is a, is a can be a wonderful thing you know um we we have a lot of skills we've talked about that we've learned a lot of skills through working online with these students so now let's use them in a different way we just have to pivot 
Another yes. word that we keep on pivot. using. Pivot. Pivot is a good word. Pivot. <laughs> yes. At the end, we're pivoting, right? Right, right, well, right. If you are watching this video right now, we have 11 people watching. I want to say thank you so much for joining in on our discussion. And I want to be sure that you head over to Teacher Lena's channel and subscribe to her. If you're not subscribed to me, subscribe to me too, right? Subscribe to <laughs> all of us. It's free. We don't charge a cent. Mm -hmm. But yeah, <laughs> subscribe. Teacher Lena has so many helpful videos. And guess what? Many more to come. We're going to be continuing on both of our channels talking about opportunities that are going to be available. And Teacher Lena is going to be keeping everybody posted about all the details details of all the adventures that we are going to be heading towards in the future. So make sure you check out Teacher Lena's channel. And mm -hmm. I think you were the right person to invite on my channel so that we could provide some hope and some opportunities. Real quick, I'm going to highlight a couple of comments. Um, Rebecca said, so many people out of jobs. I feel like I'm a few days behind on going somewhere else. That's okay. Um, and Rebecca, you teach, Rebecca teaches science on OutSchool, which is awesome. Um, Esther says, thank you for the encouragement. I'm already subbed to teacher Lena. God bless y'all. And mm -hmm. teacher Hillary said, thank you both so much. Um, Carol Ann says, someone deleted my comment. It was a website that was mentioned. Can I say it again? Yes. Um, sometimes when you put a link to a website, we have to approve it. And if a lot of people are commenting and I didn't see it to approve it, it might not have like fully posted. So feel free to click it. And um, I did not delete anything, but sometimes YouTube doesn't let you post links or whatever. But mm -hmm. maybe say the name of the website and put a space and put .com or something so that we can see what website you want to tell us about. Well, we're finishing up our our live broadcast, so you guys will be able to comment in the comments below. Thank you so much, guys. Have a great day. All bye. right. Bye, Evelyn. Thank, Thank you. you.